The light's flashing. Oh my god, the light's flashing. Alright, here we go. This is a bit of a rant. Anyway. Um, yeah. The other week or so, uh, I heard something which was sort of like talking in regards to poetry. And I thought, yes, that's right on the mark. Yeah. I could really sort of like what was said. I said, yes, that's it. That's that's what it's about. And I often, I don't know if, how much of what I think in regards to poetry as a form. Uh, I know people I cross paths with who aren't into poetry. And that, as soon as I say, oh, I'm back into poetry again. Yeah, you know, I'm so excited about the fact that I'm, I'm back doing it, I'm back reading, I'm getting up. And I see their eyes roll into the back of their heads and it's sort of like, I sort of like realise, oh yeah, right, right. They sort of think, oh, poetry. Mm, mm, mm. Let's move on to another subject. I don't want to talk about this. Yeah, I find it frightening. You shouldn't be talking about it. And they quickly move on, try to move, move, move the line of conversation to something else. And I was sort of like, oh, all right, fair enough. So, yeah, uh, I got this idea: poetry. What is it good for? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Uh, no, it isn't. It it, it has great meaning. But I often say it is like. Uh, in the arts, it's almost like there's a party on. They're having a, it's a function, a function party. Let's let's go with that one. That sounds a bit better. And and poetry's there, yeah. You know? And there's a couple of sort of like individuals from other parts of the creative arts, and they're standing. And one of them turns to the other and says, "Who's that couple in the corner there?" They, they look like hobos. And everyone says, don't you know? They're part of our family. And so I'm like, what? They're part of the family? Who the hell are they? Oh, that's, that's Mr. and Mrs. Poetry over there. Mrs. and Mrs. Poetry. God. I didn't know. I, I'd heard about them, but Oh, did they have to be invited? And, well, yeah, yeah, well, they are part of our family. They're part of the arts. Oh, oh, really? Oh, no. couldn't you sort of, like, wait until, you know, uh, after all the dignitaries, the politicians, the accountants, the lawyers, the spin doctors had all left it, you could have just told them, told them the time of the function was a lot later because they they make the place look like a mess. I said, well, yeah, I thought about that, but it was after I, I sent the invites out. Uh, I, I didn't expect them to turn up on time. They normally just turn up late. Well, you know, and it's sort of like you keep going. The other one says, "Well, ah, uh, it would have been far better if they'd turned up late." Yeah, yeah, you could have could have just told them a little bit later. You know, after they're all all the real people, all the most of the same people had departed, and then we could have invited them in, and you know, they could bring along their bags, Mister. Mrs. Poetry bring their bags in and they could get all the leftovers from all the finger food and take all the all the bottles no one drank bottles of grog I mean and then you know give them a pat and say thanks for coming along and then just escort them out the door and, and that'd be it you know but like this Having them here with everyone here, every same person, because they're not really sane. Let's be honest, look at them. They don't look sane to me. Anyway, that that's 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 the way I sort of like 
see how poetry at times is viewed. It's all, almost as if it's a bit of an afterthought, which is sad because I don't think poetry is an afterthought. Um, well, I I read, write poetry, and I do other things, but yeah, um, that's a feeling I get at times, especially when you interact with people which aren't involved in poetry. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll shut up. That's enough of my rambling.